it all comes down to today. After leading the polls for the past several months, will Mayor Bill de Blasio get a second term in office, or will New Yorkers opt for Staten Island Republican Assemblywoman Nicole Malayatakis, or former NYPD detective and independent Bo Deedl? While we can only speculate until the polls close Tuesday night, here's what you need to know about Election Day and where the top three candidates stand on some key issues. Terrorism in last week's debate, held the day after a terror attack in Lower Manhattan that left eight dead and 12 others injured, the first questions dealt with terrorism, including the monitoring mosques. Yes, we can prevent terror by intelligence gathering, de Blasio said, but added that past NYPD surveillance alienated police from the very people we needed information from, and it violated people's rights. While Malayatakis said a group or religion should not be targeted, police should have the tools that we need to do their jobs with no limits to their ability when they get their lead. Deedle echoed President Trump's sentiment regarding the political correctness of extreme vetting, saying that it cannot be there all the time. Transit To fix the city's aged and in-crisis subway system, Deedle would immediately use the city's $4 billion surplus. The mayor Loves to say it's not our problem, it's the governor's, but these trains are being ridden by New Yorkers, which is your elected people, Deedl told Metro in September. He also suggests freezing expansion in capital spending until the system reaches a minimum of 95% reliable. De Blasio has proposed a millionaire's tax on the wealthiest New Yorkers to raise $800 million for transit, which, he told us in September, is something that can be acted on right away if passed, though he did add that the state needs to step up and take full responsibility. Malayatakis has vowed to work with Governor Andrew Cuomo, who controls the MTA, to fix the issues that include upgrades to signals, which contribute to nearly 70,000 monthly delays. She also plans to install smart light technology to reduce emissions and enable better traffic flow. Affordable housing homeless. Malayatakis proposes incentives like moving costs and rent reductions for singles or couples living in multi-bedroom apartments to downsize as well as creating 30,000 units of supportive housing to reduce homelessness. Deedle suggests a similar incentive program for empty nesters but would charge higher rents to those who choose to stay. He did tell us that Section 8 is something he likes a lot and would repurpose large shelters to accommodate families. Last month, de Blasio announced the city will meet his goal of building or preserving 200,000 units of affordable housing two years before its initial 2024 target. He also enacted the city's first-ever rent freeze, which kept stable rents for 2.5 million residents. He said his homestead. Homeless outreach and mobile engagement street action teams also helped 900 people find shelter and housing. Metro interviewed de Blasio and Deedle, as well as Reform Party candidate Sal Albanese and Smart Cities candidate Mike Tolkien, ahead of the primary election. Malayatakis did not respond to multiple interview requests. How to vote in Nick you can only vote at your designated polling place, which will be open from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. today. To find your polling station, visit vote.nyc.ny.us or nick.pulsatelecator.com on mobile devices. You can also call 866-VOTE-NIC. What the polls say? According to last week's NY1 Barrage College City poll of 1,089 New Yorkers, de Blasio leads Malayatakis 49% to 16%, while Deedle comes in third with 3%. However, de Blasio's 33-point lead decreased from 44 percentage points in early October, NY1 reported. The most recent NBC4 Marist poll of 1,137 city residents on October 5 showed de Blasio having a 42-point lead over Malayatakis's 16%. Deedle had 5%.